Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. This time, got my pretty face in it. That's nice for me. Maybe not for you guys, we'll figure it out. Um, this is going to be a fun episode. I know it's been a while since The Truth. Uh, my apologies, as you know. Been very busy, but we're back to videos. And there'll be another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth in two weeks. And that's going to be the conscious one, I promised, in the last episode. This one, I want to do a bit of a fun one. Have a good time. Um... Not taking it seriously, if you know what I mean. Like, shit, we can't do that to Assassin's Creed. Gotta take it serious as anything. Not this time. It's because I said so. Uh, but we're doing, and we're talking about, anyway, the secret door. If you don't know what the secret door is, I'm going to let my good buddy James over here explain to you what the door is. The bats will be disappointed. For now. For now. So that, this bit's I weird, this bit. Entrance. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. What does that mean? Well, life is full of disappointments. What does that mean? <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> Never been explained. Ever. So, pretty much, it's a door that you find in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Desmond's first sequence, where you're underneath Montregioni in the Adatore family crypts. And... It's pretty just a weird, pointless dialogue when you go up to the store like it's important, but like, nothing happened. It's just kind of weird and creepy and bizarre. And James has brought it up to me on the Kill Connor Club before, and that was on his walkthrough he did of it, where he saw it and he's just like, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, I agree. I It doesn't really make sense. It's kind of, I mean, let's face it, probably nothing, but could be something. And I got an explanation of what it could possibly be. So let's dive in and you'll learn a bit maybe about the histories of Assassin's Creed. So let's talk about it. Uh, underneath Monterigioni, where is this door? It's in the Auditorio family crypts. So if you don't know, Monterigioni was built in the 1200s. And not long after its construction, the Auditorio family became its leaders and kind of rulers and protectors of the city. Domenico Auditorio built the villa itself and the walls surrounding the village. He also constructed the Auditorio family crypts underneath, and in it filled it with his memoirs, and you can see it in Assassin's Creed 2 as Ezio and go through it and read those memoirs of Domenico and how he was friends with Marco Polo and how he contacted through Marco all the assassins and how Domenico got the you know armor of Altair, built the sanctuary, and got the Auditorio family name. He's the first ever Auditorio. He was a secret name because of families murdered and things like that because of Templars, Assassins, all that sort of stuff. So he had one son, Renato Auditore. Renato actually stole the Shroud of Eden. That's right, the Shroud of Eden. Now, it was stolen from the French Templars, the Shroud, and Renato got possession of it through the Assassins. I don't really know if it's not clear if he stole it or the Assassins stole it and he just got it. But he hid it in the crypts underneath Monteregioni. And this rumor went on for another century until Mario, Ezio Auditore's uncle, who was at that time ruler of Monteregioni and leader of the Assassins, heard these rumors and Templars were attacking Monteregioni to find the Shroud. And he was like, oh, this is a bit tough. Gonna have to move the Shroud, get it out of here. There's people here we're ruling and they can't know the Assassins, you know, home base is here in Italy. So, he and a group of his men go in search of it, and after all these times, some of them die because of all the booby traps guarding it that Renato laid there, but eventually he and a couple of other men made it through, and the Shroud was like speaking to him. Now, we know that the Shroud, or one of the Shrouds, has the consciousness of Consus, who I'm going to talk about in the next Assassin's Creed The Truth episode, and supposedly it's the Shroud, it's powers, or maybe Consus was kind of whispering to people saying, I'll heal you you know, use me, and Mario told all the guys, like, no, we're not using the Shroud, we've got to get rid of it, and we've got to move it out, and they turned on Mario, and he had to fight them and kill his own men, before eventually getting the Shroud out of there, unscathed. Now, the Shroud of Eden, obviously, as I mentioned, Consus, Consus, the first civilization scientist who created the pieces of Eden. Now, I'm going to talk way more about him, as I keep saying, so don't worry about that, hopefully in two weeks time at the very latest so a very interesting piece of eden is the shroud we saw it had healing qualities in assassin's creed syndicate 
And of course, I've got another video on the Shroud. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, I talked about last year, I gave full details and my theories of it leading to Syndicate. Obviously, the theories didn't come quite true, but at least you see there an explanation of the history of the Shroud and its effect on the Assassin's Creed franchise so far. So, what am I trying to say here, guys? I, look, all, what I'm saying is, this story of Mario and the Shroud, and the Shroud being underneath the crypts of the Auditorio family villa, now that came from Project Legacy, a side game that the Shroud was a big part of, with, you know, the Borgia families, Giovanni Borgia... And then you had, obviously, Mario Adatore's side story there, and you had Renato Adatore's story of getting the Shroud as well. So there's lots of Shroud bits in Project Legacy. Now, that came out just before the release of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, perhaps, the developers knew this could be the door that led to, maybe, the, possibly, the booby traps, or something like that, where this Shroud was kept. You just don't know, who knows, it's crazy to think, that maybe that door leads behind where the shroud was, now, there is a takeaway from that, which is of course you see the ghosts going down the stairs there, now perhaps they did say at that time, look guys, I found an entrance, maybe they'd gone up and it was locked and they're like, this isn't the way, or maybe they'd come from there and perhaps it totally derails everything, but who knows what could be behind that door, it could have led to something that led to it, you know what I mean, like, perhaps that is a little easter egg there, just to give you that maybe something important is been under the crypt, and we know there is, obviously Domenico's writings are under there, but we know the shroud at one point, not at that time the Desmond was there, but at one point the shroud was underneath the crypt, out of Torre, underneath the family villa interesting thoughts, now people have talked about it before, James and I have discussed it once before, that this is a possibility, and I've had people comment it before, it's interesting to think about how there could be a link, because it doesn't seem right, when you really listen to it, at first it's like, well that's nothing Tyler, don't worry about it, I don't know, it's just such a weird thing to write and record dialogue for it all, that you think maybe it's just pointing to, like, that hint that, oh, you know that other Facebook game, there's something underneath the crypt, that could be the thing, you know, especially because those games came and were developed around the same time too, so, interesting thought, that's what I wanted to discuss with you guys, let me know what you think, am I insane, as per usual, um, and just thank you guys again for joining me on this episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth, I always have fun making them, um, and I'll be back again to talk about Consus and all that crazy shit, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.